Hey guys, welcome back to our Vision website. So today we will learn about how to calculate gain in Guinea index. Okay, so this is our application. You can go through with this with the given link in description. Okay, so I'll start with gain in Guinea index. So let me start with the first question. So here, okay, so you'll be getting the binary class problem, which would be there are two attributes, basically A and B and the class level on the basis of class. Okay, you will be, you know, uh, dividing these attributes okay so here are the class okay so basically there will be two classes like binary problems like plus and minus so here you can see all right so what i'll do you need to first create the contingency table which is this one okay so how you will calculate this <coughs> so first you need to uh, see for attribute a so for attribute a you will be getting some kind of values okay here it is uh, t and f so you will divide this thing basis of class level plus and minus so you need to create first uh, tables like for plus and minus here so a equals to t a equals to f so you will need to calculate first the how many uh, are there with starts with a equals to t so a equals to t there are how many plus okay so you could calculate uh, a equals to t for there are four plus Let's see three and one there okay four so you need to write it down here okay so a equals to t there are 4 plus and 3 minus so you have just you know uh, write it down in the table just calculate for the same for a equals to f also so c for a equals to f how many f there 3 f here okay so there starts with you know class level are 3 right so just write it down a equals to for plus there are no f so 0 for the minus there are 3 just simply note it down in contingency table okay so again you need to do this thing for same another attribute which is b so find it out how many uh, plus like for plus class level how many f are there how many t are there just note it down here okay on the basis of given the uh, table in the question all right so now the next uh, next move will go okay so here you need to uh, uh, for using g so here you can see the formula okay so to calculate guinea index method from the uh, this table you need to first draw the formula which is 1 minus okay let me draw for you 1 minus sigma pi square so you need to first check for class level okay so how many total number of class level are there like 10 okay so 10 from 10 how many plus and how many minus are there so first you will consider plus 1 right so 1 minus total number of plus divided by total number of counts okay total counts so plus is 4 one two three and four so four divided by ten ka whole square okay then total number of minus available minus r six so minus six by ten to the whole square okay so calculate this one one minus four by ten ka whole square and minus one by six by ten ka whole square equals to 0 0.48 so we'll get this thing okay so we'll move to the next point which is once you get the g original okay so you need to go for guinea after splitting on a so for con first consider you just split the table with the a cost a and b so for the a cost to t you get the g a t and for the a cost to f you get g a of f okay so for g a cost to t the formula will be the same all right so here okay so g a cost to t equals to 1 minus 4 by 7 to the whole square minus 3 by 7 to the whole square okay equals to 0 0.4898 so 4 by 7 comes from here calculate total number of symbols in a equals to t is 7 all right and for the plus there are 4 so 4 divided by 7 all right and same for the minus how many total number of 0.7 and for minus there are 3 so 3 by 7 so it comes g a equals for a equals to t 1 minus 4 by 7 to the whole square minus 3 by 7 to the whole square equals to this so you will get 0 0.4898 the same goes for g equals to a equals to f also 1 minus 3 by 3 how it comes same 0 wait uh, 0 for this 0 plus 3 plus 3 total number of 3 and for 0 by 3 same goes for minus also 3 by 3 which comes for 0 so once you get g equals to t 
g a equals to f total so you need to minus from the original table okay which is g original minus now you need to go and search for this formula g original minus 7 by 10 g a equals to t minus 3 by 10 g a equals to f so how do you get this so once you have g a equals to t g a equals to f now you need to go and so you need to get the delta okay how you will get it so see here let me draw for you just a second okay so g original like g original minus 7 by 10 g a equals to t minus 3 by 10 g a equals to f so you as you see you have already got a equals to t and a equals to f the value so you need to go for 7 by 10 how you will get 7 by 10 by looking into this table okay so for a equals to t you will see how many total number of symbols available 4 and 3 plus 7 right 7 divided by total number of symbols which comes to 10 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 which is 10 all right so 7 by 10 g of a of g a of t right minus 3 by 10 so how it came same thing for a of f you need to look see so 0 plus 3 comes for 3 total number of symbols which is this which comes to 4 plus 3 plus 3 which is 10 right so same thing all right so 3 by 10 g equals a equals to f so it's a simple formula solve this thing so what it comes g original is 0 0.48 all right minus 7 by 10 into g o g a of t which is 0 0.48 right which is here same thing minus 3 by 10 into which is g a equals to f which comes to 0 so when you solve this form formula we will get it 0 0.1371 so once you have get the g of a equals to t and g, g of a equals to f so simply you need to get the delta which is difference of both so you need to minus from g original to the g of a equals to t g of a equals to f so same thing once you get this you need to do this same thing for b also okay so get the b equals to t b equals to f by using all this uh, which i have described you know, mentioned above for the g a equals to t okay so get it all this uh, information and get the delta also once you get all uh, both the deltas you need to compare with the with the you know a equals to t and a equals to b so see which is the highest one so as you can see here for attribute b will be chosen to split the node why because for a it is for a it is 1 0 0.13 and for b it is 0 0.1633 so which will be the highest one will be get it you know will be start splitting the nodes so here as you can see the you have already solved this uh, using guinea index method so the another question is there which is you need to calculate the gain using information gain so same formula you will be applying just you need to you know uh, simply move it to with log so as you can see g e original equals to 0 0.4 log 0 0.4 which is the new formula the formula is j uh, minus uh, 4 by 10 log 4 by 10 which came from here okay here okay 4 by 10 which is same total number of symbols which is 10 and for a equals to t the first one 4 okay so simply get it all this information from here and hopefully you will be you know oh yeah, we will drive the and this thing from information gain so this is a quick information for you so hope you will be able to solve this formula using gain index and gain information gain through okay so feel free to ask in comment box we'll let you know uh, if you have any questions so thanks for watching we'll meet in next video till then bye bye